welcome all fifth graders. Uh, normally we do this in person um, in the spring at West Middle School where we welcome in all of the incoming fifth graders and give them a little bit of a taste of what it's gonna be like to come to West Middle School in the fall. Uh, what we wanna talk to you about tonight, a few things. We wanna just give you a little bit of introduction of what uh, sixth grade is like, maybe what the schedule is like, and then who, who can you go to for questions or concerns. Um, and the next thing we wanna make sure you know is um, to be able to put a face to some of those people. My name is Jim Bolum, and I'm the associate principal at West Middle School. I've, this'll be my ninth year at West Middle School, and uh, my contact information is there. If you have any questions this summer about scheduling or classes or um, any of the dates that we'll show you at the end of the presentation, um, I should be able to help you out with that. One of the things that you're gonna hear at West next year is this concept of being bold. And bold is kind of how we go about doing school at West. What bold stands for is it stands for build community, own your learning, lead positively, and develop balance. You'll learn more about that when you come to West. Um, all of our teachers um, kind of have a plan about how to present that to you, but really it's just about being a good citizen at West, and that's something that we'll talk about. What I really want to do tonight is just make sure that you um, that you you feel comfortable and you're relaxed about coming to West Middle School next year. A lot of your brothers, maybe your sisters, maybe even some of your moms or dads, or even grandparents and or grand grandfathers uh, and grandmothers have gone to West Middle School. It's got a long history. Um, and what's nice about West is, at least from the sixth graders that we've talked to, all of the sixth graders that we've talked to before really have enjoyed uh, coming to West Middle School. A couple of things that you get to do that maybe you didn't get to do at the elementary level. You get to pick where you sit at lunch. You get to walk without a group um, when you go between classes and you get to own your own locker. Plus you get to move um, from different classes all day long. So you get a variety of teachers with a variety of your different friends. What a typical sixth grade schedule would look like, there's a few different kinds of classes in the sixth grade schedule. Um, there's an advisory class, was a short period where we do a check-in. Our core classes are classes like math, social studies, language arts, and science. Um, our encore classes are physical education, any of your music classes like choir, orchestra, uh, FIAD, band, um, art, Spanish, and engineering technology. We also have a flex period where we do some interventions, we allow kids to retake tests, we do some silent reading, and we have some homework time. The daily schedule looks like this. You'll start off with your encore classes. You'll have two encores, and those are gonna be your music, your FIAD, your Spanish, um, your art, ETD, um, any of your band, choir, orchestra classes, th those are part of your encores. After your encores, you'll start with your core classes. And so you'll have four core classes. It'll be math, language arts, science, and social studies. You'll do two core classes. You'll have lunch. Um, then you'll do another core class. After your third core class, you'll get a little bit of a break. You'll have that advisory flex period. And then you'll end the day with your last core class. And I'm gonna turn this over to uh, our counselor, Amy Konjoka, and she can talk about student services. Hey, fifth graders, we're looking forward to having you start with us in the fall. Um, like Mr. Bullum said, my name is Ms. Konjoka, and um, I'm the counselor at West Middle School. I'll be starting my seventh year, and um, I will be your primary contact, um, actually all three years that you are with, um, with us at West Middle School. So a uh, little bit more about student services. Um, we are um, a department that is made up of Mr. Bolum, our associate principal you just met. Um, Mrs. Gessner is our department secretary. Mr. Binney is our social worker. Um, I'm Ms. Konjoka, the counselor. And we also have a school resource officer named Officer Groves, who you will get to meet. And uh, student services is located right next to the main office, so we'll be easy to find. And it's basically our job to escort you through your time at West during middle school 
during all the good times you're going to have, um, during the times that you might be feeling confused about something and need some help, um, during any times you might be feeling anxious or sad or angry about something and need some support, and um, also just during the random times that you want to come in and say hi, um, we'll be there for you. So if you went to Gleason, you'll think about Mrs. Bedford. And if you went to Greenwood, think about Mrs. Moss. And we all do similar things, okay? So um, here are some pictures of us. You see Mr. Mrs. Gessner here on the left. Um, she'll be the first person that you see when you walk through the door to student services. Um, she'll welcome you and will ask you what you need. And she will figure out who can best help you from there. Um, might be Mr. Binney our school social worker. He primarily will be working with the seventh graders next year, um, but he will be an option for you if you feel more comfortable talking with Mr. Binney. But otherwise, like I said, since um, I'll be the sixth grade primary contact, I'll most likely be the person who will help you. And um, like I said, I think I'll actually travel with you then through seventh grade and eighth grade as well. So I'm going to turn this over to uh, Mr. Peterson now so he can talk to you about music. Hi, fifth graders. I'm Mr. Peterson, and I'm one of the two band directors at West Middle School, myself along with Dr. Thone. Uh, we're still taking students for instrumental music classes. Uh, we're taking students for the instruments that we have space in the classes. For band, currently what we have available, if you are interested in starting an instrument next year, we have flute, clarinet, trombone, baritone, French horn. If you're interested in starting one of those instruments, feel free to email me and you'll see my email up on the screen here. If you're interested in orchestra, please contact Ms. Parr Olson and she'll guide you through the process for getting set up with orchestra. If if, they, if you're already signed up for a band or you're signed up for orchestra, we will do that scheduling for you as long as, and I think Mr. Peterson and, and uh, Dr. Thone know each instrument. So if you sign up for band, they'll let us know what instrument you've signed up for and we'll schedule you in the appropriate um, section. Same thing with orchestra, if we know what instrument you're playing, um, or if you're new to West, if you let us know what instrument you're playing, we will get you into that right section. And by default, if we don't, um, if we don't know what, that you're not in band, you're not in orchestra, we will just automatically put you in choir. And if you have any questions about that, you can look at my uh, email or my phone number in one of the previous slides. So what I'm gonna do now is turn it over to Clarice Joinby, who is our gifted and talented um, teacher. The gifted and talented program at West has four main parts. One is accelerated math. Two is clustered language arts. Three is a pullout seminar program for social and emotional needs for gifted children. And four is managing most of the extracurricular and co-curricular activities in the school. If you are interested, uh, at any point during the year, any student in an activity at West, you can reach out to me. For families that are curious if you've qualified for seminars, you can find that information under the activities tab in Skyward. My phone number and email address is on the screen if you have any further questions. Thanks, Clarice. Uh, the next screen is our PTA. Um, uh, group and, and that that group meets uh every other month and um it's a very active group they really help us out with all of our fundraising um, especially for kids who um, maybe need some help on our environmental learning trip um, they, they're very helpful with any kind of needs that we have throughout the year and so i definitely would encourage you to get involved in our pta program um, the meetings are inform form uh, they're informal but there's a lot of information given out at those meetings. We usually have um, Chase Anderson at one of our meetings. We usually do like a ninth grand transition meeting with our high school principal. Um, and just uh, anything that we're changing in curriculum or any kind of questions that families might have, um, that's a, just a good place to get information. So join that group, that link is up there. I know the leadership is changing this year, so it might not have the correct contacts on the website, but we will be updating that website 
uh, this this summer. I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Benny. He can talk about this uh, virtual tour on the next slide. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to point you in the direction of a cool video that we had some of our student leaders create a couple of years ago. Um, it'll take you on a fun tour around our building and answer some of the frequently asked questions that should really help you to get a better sense of what to expect next year. We hope you enjoy it. And we will send that link out also um, so that you have that. Um, it should be on our website. Again, we're working on getting our website um, set so all these links work, but we'll send this out in an email so you should be able to follow that link. We are so excited to have you this fall and a couple of things that we do on that day, uh, we call it day one. And it's just a fun day full of activities, really meant just to get to know each other, get to know your teachers, your advisors, get to know new students, do some fun things, um, eat lunch together. We have an extended lunch on that day. So that's something to really look forward to without a lot of the pressures of um, you know homework or anything like that on those first days. So that first day, Hopefully we'll be out there greeting you while you get off the bus and we can't wait to see you. A couple other things that we want to talk about are some important dates. Um, our locker move-in dates, they're listed on there. Um, the thing you want to make sure that you do for locker move-in is that you come ready for your school picture. And that just means wearing appropriate school um, dress. Make sure your dress is appropriate for school and um, be ready to take your pictures. On that Thursday, the August 27th, there's an ice cream social after the locker move-in is done. And it's a really nice way to get to know other people, have some ice cream. And it's just a, a great social event for us. And it's very well attended. So hopefully you can make it for that. Um, curriculum night is September 2nd, starts at 6 o'clock. You'll get more information about that as we get closer. And then day one is September 8th. So with that, that is our fifth grade orientation um, slide presentation. I want to welcome you to West Middle School, and I'm going to let everybody else in this presentation uh, say a little goodbye and, and can't wait to see you next year. So have a good summer, and we'll see you in the fall. To echo on uh, what Mr. Bolin have, have, had to say, um, I look forward to getting to know all of you in the fall. I'll be available. Um, over the summer, if you want to email or call with any types of questions, um, I would be more than happy to meet with anyone that um, would like to do that. So please just don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. We're looking forward to seeing you, and it's going to be a great year. Looking forward to seeing everybody next year performing some awesome music. We're very excited to see all of you in the fall and know that you'll enjoy West just like we do. Have a great rest of the school year and a good summer. Thank you.